if we can introduce eccentric loading earlier in rehabilitation, we won't typically get people back earlier. Yeah, and this is this is what those papers in our RCT shows. We don't typically have the capacity to get people back quicker. They just, on average, tend to have a greater exposure to eccentric training more soon and for a longer period of time during their rehab than someone who we might wait until they're pain-free on a clinical assessment. So we might get another seven days of eccentric loading into someone before they sprint by trying to use exercise as our progression criteria. Um, and so they'll still return to play at the same time, but the one person who might have done eccentrics earlier might have an extra seven days underneath of their eccentric loading and, and it might be better positioned to uh, withstanding the, the exposure to sprinting that we typically see. And then potentially reduce the risk of injury? Yeah, yeah. We, we need to do a bigger scale RCT to do that, but that's the theory, right? 